it's Jess at Crazy Fun Creations. How is everybody today? We are going to do some fun and exciting stuff today. We are going to be making a couple placemats and then, um, does anyone know if they were in the King Sumo drawing? We are also going to make sure that we draw for that today. So, I'm gonna, I have my computer set up. We're gonna hopefully do that. Do not let me forget to do that. Um, I will be in such big trouble if I don't do that. Hey, Bethany. Bethany, did you get my King Sumo drawing? You'll wanna check that out. You can win $50 um, in chalk supplies. That's one way to get your inventory up, right? Um, you had to do a bunch of stuff. My hat is always so crooked on here. Um, anyways, so make sure if you, um, the King Sumo drawing is over, but I'm probably gonna do another one of those. So um, today we're actually gonna draw for the winner live so that no one knows that I'm cheating or anything like that. So we're actually gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna get going because I got lots of things planned. Um, um, if you guys are not in my VIP group, you wanna hit VIP right now, hashtag VIP. The reason that you want to do that is because I'm doing a special right now. And I can't announce any um, promotions or discounts on public lives like this. So head on over there. I'm going to be doing it really, really shortly. Um, and it's this. It's the Odette surface. It's the Elf made me do it. And it is with these three colors. Candy Apple Red, Meadow Green, and a Black Velvet. And basically what that is, um, this is at a special discounted price in my VIP, but I only have so many of them. So if you are, if this is something that you want to do as a kit, it's a, just a kit um, that you get mailed to you. If you're interested in something like that, let me know right away and I can go ahead and get this sent to you. I only have so many of these left, so make sure you do that right away. Okay, today what we're going to be doing, we're going to be making placemats because before you know it Thanksgiving is going to be right around the corner you're gonna be making food for a million people and guess what you're gonna be like oh I wish I would have made like some cool placemats so that's what we're doing today I'm doing this family one family is everything family is not an important thing it's everything but the name of the transfer is called family is everything and the reason that I'm doing this one is it seems like it's kind of like a good Thanksgiving -y thing. Thanks, Bethany. I know they did sell out. That's why I only have so many of the Elf Made Me Do It. I only have so many of these and they all sold out. So if you want one of these, you've got to let me know ASAP. They all sold out. So maybe we should do, if somebody wants this kit... Go to my VIP group. If you're not in my VIP group, hashtag VIP. Or you can put on here right now, hashtag elf, and I will message you right after this about this opportunity. Hashtag elf to get this kit. They all sold out. Super sad, I know. So anyways, if you're wanting that kit, let me know right away. So, but we're gonna do this for Thanksgiving, and I just love this teal color. And then I actually love like, all these fall colors with the teal. So this is kind of like my colors going to be at Thanksgiving time. It's going to be all these fun fall colors with this teal, which I just absolutely love. So I definitely, that's what, um, that's what I'm going for today is we're going to make some really cool stuff with these. So first thing first, we are going to go ahead and this is the Chalk Couture, I have obviously cut it up. It comes way bigger. Um, so I, this is just a sticky mat. And whenever you're doing ink, you wanna make sure that you put the sticky side up and you put it, your cloth or whatever down on it. The reason for that is, is it sticks to it and it doesn't let it slide anywhere. So you wanna make sure that you're doing that. Sorry, go ahead and put that out of the way. So I have two of them. I'm also going to do Home is My Happy Place. We're also going to do that on one of these also today. Then I've got a couple other really cute things. So I'm um, going to lay this down and I'm going to put this right on top of it. 
right in the middle. I'm gonna flatten it out. And what that does is when I flatten it out, it sticks to that sticky um, pad underneath. So next thing we're gonna do is gonna take it out of the package. I think I'm gonna do this all in, what do you guys think, all in white? Should I do it all in white or should I add like some fun color? Or just white? Because remember, these are my Thanksgiving colors, kind of. So I could, I should maybe add a little color, huh? Okay, we're gonna decide. I think I'm gonna use these colors right here because they're gonna look really cool against that. So first things first, I flip this over. I find my non-existent marker. Okay, I find my Sharpie marker and I mark on the back. I mark on the back um, just something small like family. I do that because um, I, when I go to wash all these transfers, I wanna make sure I have the right back with it. I personally always clip off a little corner, literally that much. That way when this rectangle thing, it can be put whichever way, but my OCD has to make it go one way. So we go ahead and do that. One thing that you guys want to pay attention to, um, I've been getting some comments about this. When you have a bigger transfer, even bigger than this, you want to put it face down and then you want to peel the backing off of it as it's laying face down so that it doesn't crumple on itself. Remember that live when I crumpled it on myself? Oops, yeah. That's why you want to do this. So see how nicely that just rolled right off? Then um, you don't need to fuzz this because it's cloth and it's already going on there, okay? So I'm just gonna pull these straight, kinda line it up with the middle, say yay, and then I'm just gonna kinda push it all the way down. Okay, if you guys um, were here for my King Sumo drawing to get $50 of free product, you wanna stick around I'm going to do that drawing at the very end of this live today. So, alrighty, what should we start with? I think I'm going to do like this, all this outliney stuff, maybe in like that, this um, papaya. Then I'm going to do family in white. And then maybe I'll do this in red and then this in white. So white, red, white, and everything else. Papaya, does that sound good? <laughs> yes, Bethany, you'll, I love fall colors too. You will have to go make some um, placemats. These are so cheap and so if you mess up on them, you can just chuck them. Uh, with ink, it's the same process. You get a little bit on. Yes, I did cut one of these squeegees in two. I just used an X-Acto knife. So I could do small, intricate details, like on here. So see how some of that is a little bit smaller? Because I don't want to get it on family. On family, I want a different color. Yes, this is a perfect idea. So easy to make for, yes, Thanksgiving. Seems to be a good thing, huh? And remember, you keep your baby wipe handy when you do ink because I'm coming dangerously close to that family, so I'm just gonna wipe it off. I don't even trust myself. Okay, so remember you have a little bit more time with ink. It takes longer to dry than the chalk paste, so you have a little bit more time to kind of dink around a little bit. The ink is not revivable, so you cannot add water if you feel like it's the wrong consistency, which I've had these inks for quite a while, and they always stay the same consistency, so. The reason that we choose ink on um, surfaces that are fabric is because we want to heat set those surfaces. And how you heat set them is with an iron, four minutes each side. I have a Cricut um, heat press, and so with the if anybody has a Cricut heat press, you do um, the temperature is 330, and you do it for the 30 seconds on each side. Otherwise, you do four minutes with an iron setting on like cotton or linen, and you do it for four minutes each side. So huge difference, huge time saver to have that Cricut. No, I don't work for Cricut, but I do love all my Cricut stuff. So, well, hello, Liz, how are you, girl? So, um, 
you do want to kind of push down and you want to make sure that it's these are heat no no these are silk screen transfers so you want to make sure that it goes all the way through that silk screen so you want to just apply a little bit of pressure you don't want to glob it on it's the same as the chalk you want to put a little bit on and then wipe all of it off so you can see it all the way through definitely want to see it all the way through If anybody participated in my King Sumo, make sure you stick around. We're going to do the live drawing at the very end of today. And the winner gets $50 worth of product. Chalk product, ink product, surfaces, colors, whatever they want. So going to be pretty open with that. It's kind of like someone's going to receive big time happy mail. Yay. If you're not in my VIP group and you want to be in my VIP group, hashtag VIP. I'm going to be putting something up for the um, elf thing I just showed you guys at a discounted price. And that's also how you get in my King Sumo. Or did. I think I'm going to run another one, though, because it was so fun. So basically, I'm just applying a little ink, pulling straight down, just like I do with the chalk. Like I said, with ink, the ink is more forgiving, so you have a little bit, well, it's more forgiving time-wise. Um, it is permanent, though, so when you put it on clothes and things, it can be permanent. That's why I'm doing these placemats. I want them to be permanent. Because they're for Thanksgiving. And then my fall colors with this teal. Alrighty, almost done with this orange color. Just a little bit more. I don't know if you guys have heard or not, but Chalk Couture just released a huge deal right now. You can get some of their surfaces, uh, like a 10 inch round for like $5. Some of their surfaces are 50% off. That has never happened in the history of Chalk Couture yet. They have never had 50% off of, and they're selling like hotcakes. I think the 18 inch rounds are already gone. Um, they're expecting some other ones. And I think the reason they're doing this sale is because they're expected to get in some new surfaces and they needed to make a little bit of room for what is coming up, what they're about ready to release. So... That's kind of exciting. So the rounds, some of the square chalkboards are 50% off. So if anybody is interested, let me know. You can get on my, uh, my shopping website and look. That's www.chalktour.com backslash crazy fun creations. All right, the orange is complete. All right, next we are going to do the white. The family and it's everything is gonna be white and the red, or it's not red, sorry. The current jam is going to be this beautiful color. So we're gonna do white next. And I'm gonna do it in one of these other ones that's chopped in half too. Hope the white really stands out so good on this teal. So it's the same principle. You just pull a little, pull it straight down. Oh, 
We're gonna do white with the family and then white at the bottom. This project is a little bit more exciting because you, you have to wait for the whole reveal at the very end. Can't even pull up and peek. Remember to always keep your um, baby wipes super handy because I just dipped my thumb in the wrong color. So I'll wipe that off here shortly. All right, and it's everything is also going to be white. Thanks, Bethany. I can't wait to see how it's gonna look either. If everybody wants to hit share, that would be great. Everybody hit that share button and share it up. If we get 25 shares, then I will give more stuff away. We can either do a finished project or we can do product. All right, we're doing everything ink today because I don't have my chalks with me. So just doing everything ink. Remember, ink is more permanent. And I go back and forth. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I just love chalk and the chalk is life. And then like I do ink projects and I'm like, oh, the ink is my favorite, not the chalk. It's just a totally different feel one from the other. Alrighty, and then I got a whole bunch of paste on me, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe all that off. All right, then I'm gonna do this current, and we are going to, look how pretty that is. This is gonna be so pretty. So you do not stir these like you would um, the chalk paste, because you do not revive them. And I keep, I haven't taken the lid off this current, but I keep using it, so it's turning into a little bit of a hot mess. So I'm gonna just take all of it off the lid. I keep thinking, oh, my next project, I'll take it, the lid off. Because it comes with like a sealer lid on it. Okie dokie, there we go. All right, look how pretty that color is. It's gonna be so pretty. Okay, so we're gonna Put a little on, oh, and new paste is the best. Put a little on, pull straight down. I don't know, I was kind of most excited to see the white, and now I'm kind of most excited to see this current. What, what color are you guys most excited? What color do you think is gonna pop the most out of these three colors? The white, the current, or the papaya? Anybody have any guesses? You gotta guess before the big reveal. All right, here we go. Here's the big reveal. Yeah, Bethany thinks that current is going to be. I know, maybe I'm secretly hoping that because it's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I got everything off my fingers with my baby wipe. Here we go. I'm gonna pull straight up. Oh man. Oh, they all look good. Okay, then I just go ahead and I put this back on my backing and then I wash that after I'm done today. Oh man, look at that. That turned out amazing. I like all three of those colors on there. I can't decide which one I like best. Oh, Dee Dee says current too, and so does Liz. Yes, that is beautiful. I like all of those. So I just wait for this to dry and then um, you can heat set it. So yes, Liz, drum roll, dun 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 dun. We're gonna really have a drum roll when we do that King Sumo, aren't we? Oh no, and you don't wanna throw it like that. Alrighty, so I'm gonna put that one aside. 
I'm gonna wait for that one to dry and then I'll heat set all of them together. The next one is going to be this one. Don't worry, this is the last one of the placemats. Don't get bored on me so easy. Home is my happy place. What do you guys think, yay? So I love that current. Like we have to do the current again. And we have to do the white. I don't know, what was your least favorite color on that? I kind of liked them all. Should we stick with that theme or should we do a different theme? Should we add like, I like a million colors. I know if Jackie were watching, she would say curry. Let me find my curry. Oh no, that is not it. I got some shimmer colors here. I have a lot of green for some reason. Where did it go? I do have red. Everyone knows I love red, but I don't know if that's quite the project. What's your, which one do you love, Liz? I forgot what we were doing. Home. Okay, I'm writing on the back again. I think I just get on here and my nose immediately starts itching. So I'm clipping the corner. Just so you know, the rectangle has a side. I just love that curry. I love all three of those. Maybe we should just stick with that color scheme. What do you guys think? Put this right in the middle. I like the white and the curry the most. Yes, I love the white and the curry the most. So I'm thinking about maybe white, papaya, and curry, all of this. What do you guys think, yay, nay? Then I promise I'll get off the these three colors. But I'm probably gonna have to make 12 placemats. You guys might have to be here for some more placemat making, I don't know. All right, home, here we go. So I put it down, you don't, you don't need to, um, use the fuzzing mat at all because it's on fabric already. That white really popped on there though, didn't it? I mean, it popped nicely. It looks good. There we go. So this, um, if anyone is interested in being a designer just like I am, you get 40% off of all your stuff, all your pace, all your um, transfers, anything. Hashtag designer. Hashtag designer and I will get you info about that. It's... Totally awesome. I have just loved it. Not only do I like doing lives and I've gotten other people signed up, but I also sell my finished projects at a local flower shop here. And today I just actually went and got um, a check from them, which is super exciting. So you can sell your stuff um, and they go to vendor shows and things like that. So they will also be doing that. All right, I'm going to do this beautiful curry. So really if you're just a hobbyist and you want to have 40% off of all your hobbies, you can sign up. If you want to, if you like going to craft fairs and things like that, and either selling the product or finished product, you can do that. Their Chaka Tour just allows so much support to everyone and, and however they want to do their business. So you can have in-home parties. I just had a couple parties this last month and those are always so fun. Cause every time I'm at a party, I think, oh my gosh, like they're not gonna think of better ideas. And then they do. And I'm just so surprised like to see everyone's personality and creativity come out in their art is just, it's so fun. And then everyone gets to take a project home 
that they made. So we did like, um, both parties were like sip and chalks. But I'm thinking I need to maybe do an ink one next. I know ink scares people because it's permanent, but it's almost like the way it goes on, it's almost easier to apply and take off and you have more time to work with it because um, it doesn't dry as quickly. So it's almost in a way easier, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, there's the curry. Getting ready to do that papaya next. Maybe. Just gonna try and use my same. That curry does get on everything though, right? <laughs> So hashtag designer, if you want any information, it doesn't commit you to being a designer, but if you want any information, hashtag designer. Some of the farmhouse designs are adorable, which we are gonna do a farmhouse one next. I feel like these um, placemats are a little farmhousey too, because I kind of decorate with farmhouse style and well, this is what I'm doing for Thanksgiving. All right, friends, so we put the lids on everything. Okay, Liz, drum roll, please. We need some sound effects, don't we? Liz could totally do the drum roll. Da -da 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 -da. We're going to do the reveal. Here we go. Get all that stuff off my fingers. Dun, da, da, dun. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm going to put this on my backer and then wash it. And then it goes right back on the same backer. Oh my gosh, look at that. My Thanksgiving table's gonna be so pretty. Look at those, friends. Look at those. Just pretend like this was on the table too, and this. And this. Look at that. Can you guys just imagine how cute that table is going to be? I can't wait to heat set these. Those turned out even cuter than I thought they were going to. So remember, I am going to let those dry and then I will heat set them. All right. I'm gonna do a dish towel next. Isn't this orange pretty? I know I should probably like do a give thanks on it or something, but I just love this walk by faith. Does anyone else just love that? Super simple, super easy. I'm gonna cut this little tag off. Oh, it was already off. I just need to pull. So I'm gonna do this tea towel. And I'm gonna do that whole thing just like in white. I'm gonna just do it, I want it to be so simple. Not that walking in faith is simple, that's not what I'm saying. I just want the whole theme to kind of just be very, very simple. Then we are going to do a super, oh, did you, Bethany? Yes. I'll message you where I got that, girl. Thanks, Liz. Thanks, Dee Dee. Okay, so on the back, I'm going to write Faith. Because I love this orange in this fall, and, you know, sometimes you need to be reminded of this, right? Clip the little corner so I can know that. Okay. I'm going to center it up. You know I always change my mind. I'm actually gonna do this fawn color. It's not white, see the difference? But I just maybe don't want it bam, but just kinda easier going. So I'm actually gonna do fawn. And because we just used white, I don't wanna be so boring, right? Let's see how this fawn comes up. So I put just a little bit on. There's really not much on there. And then I just pull it down and all across. You kind of want to push down. You want to push down into that fabric a little bit. 
And not, not like hard, this isn't difficult. And remember I have that mat underneath me. And the reason I have the mat underneath me is because I want it to stick to that, right? So that this transfer and that my tea towel isn't moving around when I'm trying to pull it off, put it on. You put a little on, you pull most of it off. This hardly takes literally hardly any um, ink, hardly any product at all. It's just crazy. I think these ink things are gonna last me like forever. And I've taken, the chalk have lasted me a long time. The chalk have lasted me a long time and I've taken them to multiple parties. I've done a million projects. So, the ink's probably even gonna last longer. Okie dokie, so I put a little on, pull most of it off. See how quick and easy that was? Like literally we were going to an event the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, I totally just need to like gift wrap this, um, it was a whiskey bottle, not a wine bottle, a whiskey bottle. Literally I grabbed a towel like this. I did something cute on it super quick. I put it around it so it looked like a dishcloth over the um, whiskey bottle. I tied a little raffia, boom, perfect gift ever. Okay, wasn't perfect. But really, it was alcohol. It was super cute. Oh, that looked good. Look at that. Walk by faith. See how nice that looks? So see how right here, it kind of was a little light? I probably didn't push down. So after this dries, I just wash my transfer. I'm gonna put it back down on there and I'll just wipe it a little heavier. Yeah, Liz, I'll tell you where I got the dish towel too, hon. Yep. Sorry, we're not supposed to say things publicly where we got surfaces other than Chalk Tour, so um, that's why they're asking me that. Okay, are we ready for one? This is gonna be my favorite project, I think. But I'm not gonna tell you, it is a little crazy. I'm gonna do a totally different method that kind of freaks me out because it is so different and my hat is so crooked. Oh well, right? Like we're not here for my hat. Okay, so it's a black tea towel. Black, look how beautiful that is. I mean, it's, it's such nice quality. I can message you where I got these too. These are like really, really good quality. But the next thing I'm about to do, things are gonna get crazy. Just wanna warn you up front. This could be a total flop, I don't know. We'll see. I shouldn't try things for the first time on lives, right? But I'm going to anyways. Okay, so here's the not so crazy part. The cow. The cow, but the cow is boring, right? So we gotta dress the cow up. And you ask, how are we gonna dress a cow up? That's right, my friends, buffalo plaid. My favorite thing in the whole world, buffalo plaid. So I decorate everything in buffalo plaid. So here's the thing. I think we lay the cow transfer down first and we want it to look buffalo plaidy. So then we put the buffalo plaid on top of the cow and then it should make the cow buffalo plaidy. If not, I have more tea towels is the good news. So I've used this cow a lot. Actually, my kids did. So that's my kids' is writing on the back. Cow. I put this on the top. I put this cow after painting um, like a bar stool for my kitchen. I put it on the top on the top of it. I let my kids do it. So Oh, Liz, I want to go to Downton Abbey so bad. Okay, well, have fun, Liz. Catch you later, girlfriend. All right, we're going to, Liz is not even going to stick around for the crazy part. I kind of want to make sure this is even, too. Do, 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 do. And then we're going to put words above it. That's not going to be so crazy. Oh, so the normal where, um, the normal folding of the towel is typically center. However, I believe somebody watching right now 
told me one time they did a dishcloth and they did it on the fold. The fold wasn't centered. So you want to make sure, um, <laughs> you want to make sure that wherever the folds are in the dishcloth really are center. I know Bethany, I, you're going to watch me. I'm probably going to like muck it up. So then you'll know how to do it correctly on your other one. So I cut this Buffalo plaid in two because it's a huge transfer, right? So So I marked buffalo plaid. I clipped the corner. Okay, how you wanna do these bigger transfers, and yes, I am gonna fuzz this because I'm laying this on another transfer. Don't do this at home, friends, I'm so scared. Okay, so you wanna lay your transfer face down. You wanna hold it with your hand and peel the back off so that it doesn't fold up on itself. Little tricksy I just learned after ruining that one transfer on a live. Yeah, that really happened. That was so bad. Okay, so I want to fuzz it up because I'm putting it on another transfer. So I'm trying to protect this transfer. Well, actually the other transfer I'm trying to protect. I'm trying to protect all transfers out there. Okay, so then I'm going to lay this on there. Instead of straight, I probably should do it like at an angle. Oh, let's go straight cow. Are we straight or angling the cow? Oh, let's straight cow. You know, I like to do things at an angle because then if they're not straight, you're like, well, you know, I did that on purpose. Okay, and yeah, I'm so sorry. We are gonna be boring. We're just doing all of this with white. White, 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 because white and black is my thing. All right, we are going to going here so I got a little bit of white I got a little bit more than I normally would I can see the outline of the cow on here so I just want to go to where I see the cow on the but I'm on top of the buffalo check but I don't want to go too far outside the cow I'm guessing you have to push down maybe a little harder I don't know this is my first rodeo literally so, but I'm guessing you want to maybe push down a little bit harder because you've got to go through two silk screen transfers, right? I might be getting crazy with the ink here, but you want to go straight down, pull it straight down. Very cool. I'm gonna make sure you, I can see, I know you guys can't see this, but I can see the cow through this kinda. So you can kinda tell where you need to go. Cause I don't wanna get off the other transfer, you know, obviously. I don't wanna get off the cow transfer and on the tea towel. So I'm only buffalo plaiting kinda where I see the cow at. And I can see the cow pretty good through here. Unless I totally mess this up, then I guess I couldn't, huh? Okay, now I'm just pulling all that extra ink off. Okay, I got a peek, friends. Because, well, I actually don't think I have the cow's nose or something. Right here. Okay, I want to make sure I get everything. Oh, I'm so nervous. Never nervous like this. I got a peek. Can I peek? Oh, I know, white and black always look so good together. <laughs> oh, Julie, you're from California? Girl, that's how I watch my lives too. I'm usually multitasking, doing something. Hey, Sandra, how are ya? Thanks for joining us. Okay, I just got a peek, guys. I don't know, I'm so nervous. Should I just do it? If, if I screwed it up, it's too late, right? Okay, here we go. Everyone's gonna watch the reveal at the same time. <gasps> Oh, she turned out good. Oh, Bessie. She turned out great. I have a milk cow named Bessie, so now every cow to me is Bessie. Look at old Bessie. 
She turned out good. Oh, that was so scary. I'm not even gonna lie. So scary. I love all the farm farm stuff. The farmhouse stuff. The kitchen farmhouse stuff is amazing. Ohio, all right. Oh, thanks, Bethany. Oh, that was so scary, friends. Okay, next. See, I gotta add some words on it, right? Because Bessie, she is fresh from the farm. Yep, she is. And maybe I should have left more room down here to do the farm. I can still do that. I'm gonna do fresh from. I'm gonna do it all in black and white because black and white just looks so good. White looks pops on these black tea towels so good. Hey Julie, hey girl, how are you guys? If you guys do not want to miss any lives, North Carolina, sprinkle the love. Thank you, Sarah. If you guys want to um, not miss any lives, put hashtag live. Hashtag live so you don't miss any of my lives. Because I am going to get ready to get some guts and we're going to do something really fun on here. And the next... I'm doing it in October. I just am. So, if you don't want to miss any lives, hashtag live. You'll get a little message every time I go live. Because this craft is seriously so fun. Okay. So, I'm going to do like fresh. And then from. I'm going to do from first. And then the farm. From Michigan, Jessica, where are the two Jessicas? Oh, I always gotta clip an edge so I know where it goes on. Sweet. Hashtag live if you don't want to miss any lives. I'm gonna put this on old Bessie's. Sweet. And if you guys want in my VIP group, I am doing a very special VIP group thing. I'm gonna post it today. Um, I did a live in there the other day and showed you guys what it was gonna be. So, hashtag VIP. Okay, we're gonna pull this straight up. This is like seriously so easy. If you are not even a crafty person, I'm telling you, you can do this. If you can follow directions on literally how to write a name on the back, and the name just says what it says on the front because these are reusable transfers. You can reuse these up to eight to 12 times or 20, you know. Then, ooh, I'm gonna protect this one. I'm gonna protect from. So I'm just gonna put it right there because I'm gonna put this down on it because I don't, I don't wanna waste the time to dry that. So, I mean, I could, but you know. So anyways, if anybody wants in my VIP group, hashtag VIP, I'm going to list a fun kit today. And I only have so many available. That's what's scary. Of course, I list this kit and I had bought them all and then Shazam, they sold out. Also, there's a 50% off a lot of different surfaces. Oh yeah. Look at that, friends. If you think you have to be crafty to do this, I'm just telling you, you don't. Look. Look how great that we're not done yet. But I'm just telling you, this is a dish towel. And I'm telling you, fresh from, we're gonna put the farm still on it. And we're gonna put farm on it. If you have that hard to buy person in your life, cause y'all know we do, but they like to have dish towels in their kitchen. I'm telling you, there are thousands of transfers that you can buy or not a thousand transfers you can buy, but you can make, you can buy a lot of transfers and make a thousand different things. This is probably the sixth project I've done with this cow. It's obviously the first time I've used these words, but um, super easy. They all kind of go together. There's a ton of farmhouse stuff. I was going to do this, but I'm not doing chalk today, but look at this. It's a drawer front. Isn't that cute? And on it, I was going to put kitchen. And then look, farmhouse, farmhouse. You can do it in any color. And then that is seriously a kitchen decor you could have done in two seconds, right? 
All right, I wanna make sure that's flat. The farm. I do have to show you guys though, in my, um, if you're in my VIP group, the kit I'm gonna be posting today, you want to get on here and get this because they will sell out. It's the Odette frame. This is called the Odette frame. Look at those scalloped edges, aren't those cute? And then look, the elf made me do it. Isn't that adorable? And then it comes with these paste packets that have so much paste in them, you can do multiple projects. Red, which is candy apple, green, which is meadow, and a black, right? I made these, this already on a live in my VIP group. So if you wanna be in my VIP group, hashtag VIP, hashtag VIP to get in that group. And all you do is literally you put a little bit of this on and you pull it off. These are silk screen transfers. So they're vinyl and then they have a little screen in them. But it, these transfers are made to look like kind of rusticy, farmhouse-ish. So they have like little dots in the middle that... Just a little bit more for my M. And if you look and you want to get all your products at 40% off, hashtag designer, and I'll give you information about how you can get all your products 40% off. It's so easy. This is not a needy business at all. So fun, so easy. Make gifts for everyone, really cheap for Christmas. And the big reveal, da na na na. Oh, Brandy, you've been sick. Hey, Jackie. Ta-da. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Old Bessie on Fresh From The Farm. Oh, Janet, you're a designer already? Darn it. Well, girl, you need to, you need to be already reaping those benefits of 40% off. You can get all these exciting things. And Janet, even if you don't want to miss one of my lives, even if you're a designer, it's okay. If you don't want to miss uh, one of my lives, hashtag live. Oh, thanks, Monica. If you don't want to miss one of my lives, hashtag lives. So today, for people just getting on, this is what we made. Well, we made Bessie the cow, and I better put something up. I better put all this stuff up before I get ink on everything. Right? So we made this black tea towel. This may have been Jackie's recommendation of where to get the tea towel. I'll message those couple people that wanted to see it. But isn't that cute? Fresh from the farm. And we buffalo plaid it. So adorbs. And then... For my kitchen table, for Thanksgiving, we also made this. And these are kind of going to be like my colors for my Thanksgiving table. So isn't that adorbs? I need like a third hand to show you guys, but this isn't dry, so i got to be careful. But look at how cute that is. Really, my centerpiece is going to be out of this. Home is my happy place since it's thanksgiving family it's not an important thing it's everything isn't that so cool and then we also made an orange dishcloth because jackie i know you're late but uh we were not able to use chalk because i want all my chalk stuff out but look isn't that cute Walk by faith. Yes. All right, friends. That is all I have today. I'm so sad because I want to keep going, but I didn't have any more projects lined up. Um, if you guys have any questions, make sure you ask them. Message me. A um, couple different things. Don't forget to look. If you're not on my VIP, you want to put hashtag VIP right now. I'll get you on there as soon as I can. Um, invite you in there because I am seriously going to be um, 
doing that very, very shortly. Like today, I'm going to be posting it, and it's the Elf Made Me Do It. The Elf Made Me Do It, and I only have so many of these, and they sold out. They are gonzo. So make sure you do that. Oh, yes, Sarah, thank you. Chalk Couture Transfers for Club Couture. Yes, hopefully I get mine in the mail, and we will be doing a live for Club Couture. That's only $19.99 a month. You get this size, a size B transfer and coordinating colors to go with it. Um, so if anybody wants that, hashtag Club Couture, hashtag Club Couture. Oh, shoot, thank you. Brandy, the giveaway, yes. The King Sumo giveaway, we are doing that right now. Brandy, you just saved my life. Okay, girl, let me get rid of all these sticky notes. Um, Yes, thank you, Janet, thank you. Okay, we are gonna do the King Sumo drawing right now. Okay, so here's the King Sumo drawing. Oh my gosh, there is a significantly horrible glare. Okay, just a second, friends. Let me turn off the light. Might be a little dark in here now. But I want you guys to see the name. For who won the King Sumo? Oh, okay. All right, here we go. We are going to hit, we are ready to award who this is. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it doesn't give a name, it gives an email address. Okay, but look, I can't, I can't tell you who it is, but we awarded it. It's been awarded. There is a winner right here. See, giveaway winner. Oops, and I can't tell you who it is. This person only, oh, they only participated 21 times in the King Sumo. What is King Sumo? It's where I get to give away free product. I gave away $50 for a free product. So be checking your emails because that's how I will contact you. Make sure you like my page so that I can tag you on my page. Um, and you get $50 worth of free giveaway Chaka Tour stuff. So y'all have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. This is Jess here at Crazy Fun Creations. See you friends. Have a great week.